Joe Smith Jr., Zerto Ramirez put on a hell of a show tonight. Um, the scorecards to me was a little crazy. They had a 99-91 for Zerto Ramirez. I did think that Zerto Ramirez won the fight, but I thought he won it six rounds to four, seven to three, really. Um, I gave rounds one, four, and eight definitely to uh, Joe Smith Jr., but Zerto Ramirez put on a hell of a boxing clinic. Um, he stayed behind his jab. He kept good distance, touched the body, real good placement, good left uppercuts to the head and to the body. I mean, he was circling out. He was moving his head. I was impressed with his defense. I mean, they put on a, they put on a great fight though. It was it was a back and forth action. It was back and forth action, but I felt like um, Zerto Ramirez definitely dominated. I mean, he must have had a really good camp because I never seen him use his legs that way. I mean, he uh, kept the distance really well, made Joe Smith uh, Jr. lose, not lose, but miss at times um, with big shots. But he did get hit with some big shots. That's what kept the fight close at times. It was a, it was a really good matchup, man. Um, but I'm I'm really impressed with Zerto Ramirez with the rhythm, fighting off of his time and using his time and you know, like I said, using the jab, measuring him out. You know what I mean? Stabbing him to the body with the left hand, stabbing him to the body with the jab, the combination punching. You know I mean, his coaches did a really good job. I know Malik Scott had to jump in to fill in for his original coach. Malik Scott uh, did a really good job with him, man, communicating what he wanted him to do in the corner. Um, you know, Joe Smith is a gangster. I mean, you can't you can't take him for sweet at any point in the fight. I feel like if Joe Smith worked on his boxing a little bit more, he'd be okay. You know what I mean? And his placement, going to the body, I did think he was headhunting a lot. You know what I mean? And that kind of took the fight away from him. At time, it discouraged him a little bit. You know what I mean? His cornermen, I felt like they wasn't being clear on the information. They were just telling him to swing more and things like that. But I felt like everything they was telling him to do, he was doing, it just wasn't working. You know what I mean? They kept telling him that the fight was easy. It's definitely not an easy fight because no fight is easy. You know what I mean? especially not on that level, but Joe Smith did a hell of a job too. You know what I mean? He, he, brought, he brought the rumble, but, you know, Zerto Ramirez definitely showed there was a difference in skill set. You know what I mean? He displayed that, and I felt like it was, you know, just a great performance all in all. I'm Greg Hackett, ladies and gentlemen. You can reach me at Greg Hackett 86 on Instagram, Greg Hackett 215 on Twitter, and Greg Hackett on Facebook. Thank you. Appreciate you.